Hey everyone, it is a very, it's very lovely to see you all again um, for another webinar. I'm just letting some people in. Um, we've got a lot to talk about this evening. And if you're not watching live, no worries. You can sort of take your time with this, but we are going into eclipse season and quite frankly, we're already there. So every time six, every six months, we have eclipses. And these eclipses, they sort of act as a punctuation to our lives. They can foretell events. They can talk about major milestones. And of course, we'll get into why eclipses are so important, why I'm like kind of a nerd when it comes to eclipses, because um, eclipses and Saturn, my, my other favorite thing in astrology, these are like my, my two go-tos in, in my astrologer's toolbox. Because um, the eclipses, they really talk about where's the change happening? Where's the story happening? Of course, we see some of that with Saturn. Saturn is lessened, Saturn is building, but eclipses really talk about where are these dynamic periods in your life? So these eclipses are going to be in Libra and Taurus. And if you are those two signs, uh, you, are, you are in the spotlight. And even if you're not uh, those two signs, you have those two signs somewhere in your astrology. Um, I know I get this every time I talk about astrology. Everybody's like, well, I don't have anything in, in Libra. I'm not a Libra. Um, but um, sorry, somebody was just talking about not getting the link. But um, um so there's uh so every time we we have these eclipses they are highlighting a very particular part of our life so when we go through each of the 12 signs you will see where libra and in the case of um taurus where that is located so just give me two seconds i want to give the link to somebody because um i don't sometimes people don't get it um even though there's some emails and um other instructions so Let's continue. So I'm going to start the slideshow. So as I was saying in my introduction, uh, we are in eclipse season, and this is the eclipses of October 2023. So both these eclipses are contained within the month of October. And that tells me as an astrologer, and it tells you as a result that uh, October is going to be a month of change. Why? Well, we're going to learn about why eclipses do bring changes. They bring major personal milestones and what we have to expect going not just into the month of October, but beyond October, because that's the funny thing about eclipses is that even though the sort of the mark of change is going to be with the solar eclipse on October 14th, or even the lunar eclipse on um, October 28th, it's very possible that you've already seen the change or seen the event. Um, and this is going to be part of a series of eclipses that takes us into the beginning of 2025. But with the lunar eclipse that we'll learn about in Taurus, we are closing out a dynamic chapter that we saw begin in 2021. So as I record this, uh, it is October 5th, and we are one week away from the eclipses. Uh, like I said, we're already starting to feel it. And, um, you know, for me as an astrologer, when I look at the year, I look at where are the eclipses, <laughs> where are the nodes, where's Saturn, what are the big story, what's the big story of the year? And because the eclipses have started to change, I mean, they're going to, into new signs, it means that we are now going into a new story. For those that don't know who I am, I know I saw some familiar faces on the live webinar, um, but for those that don't know who I am, my name is Katie Sweetman. I'm an astrologer and psychic medium located here in the New York City area. So maybe some of you watch my weekly videos, maybe some of you are my clients, but I've been actually doing uh, professional astrology since about 2010, 2011, but my interest in astrology goes back way further. It goes back to my first Saturn opposite position age 14 15 when I uh, really uh, saw my first uh, astrology chart my astrology chart and thus began I guess a lifelong love affair with astrology and even Saturn 
I am a psychic medium. That part does come into my work. Uh, this is more about astrology, I guess, today. But um, you know, a few times a year, we we do webinars, and uh, it's a good way to really kind of give more time and space to what's going on in the heavens. So this is our agenda for today, and um, it's kind of a familiar structure if if you've joined an eclipse webinar in the past, but we have some new perspectives, and. Um, Let's get into our introduction. So, ooh, going back too fast. There we go. Eclipses open a doorway. So when we start to learn more about eclipses in our time together, maybe you already know this, it is when the, the sun crosses the moon or vice versa, and there's sort of the stopping point and beginning point eclipses they bend time they open up something to come into your life they are for me very fascinating and so we're in this period of time that may feel like to some of you especially if you're a little bit more sensitive like a doorway a portal time bends and speeds up and it's something that i've noticed that time which is an energy it's something that we don't always think about time being an energy but time expresses itself through each of the 12 zodiac signs through the new moon the full moon and then every six months we get to the eclipses and time gets a little weird and we sort of come kind of come to a personal crossroads and uh, maybe you've started to notice that maybe, you know, maybe a certain area of your life is demanding more of your attention right now. Fortunes rise and fall. And I am a little bit more of a humanistic astrologer, but, you know, fate, even though it's a complicated word, there are forces that are greater than us. P pay attention to what's happening in the news right now, just as a sort of an objective exercise whose star is rising, whose star is falling. It is classic eclipse um, uh, things happening. Um, I, I think it was like, a, um, I think it was last year um, when we were having all those Scorpio Taurus eclipses and, and, and there was a lot of triggers in the summer of 2022. And it was like every, like a, a prime minister or a president was stepping down and there was all these big changes in uh, government. But um even in your own life, see, you know, what's, who's going up and who's going down at this time. You've heard me say this, every six months, eclipse happen, and uh, they track a story that actually unfolds over a larger period of time. This is not the first time that we've had eclipses in Libra nor uh, eclipses in Taurus. Well, we've had eclipses in Taurus since November 2021, but nine years before that, 18 years before that, and so forth and so forth. And so these eclipses are actually picking up on a story when you start to look for it that's bigger than this exact moment. One of the metaphors I use in trying to explain eclipses is that it's like there's this room, it's your life, or it's a very particular part of your life, maybe it's relationships, maybe it's career, and the, the curtain comes down on one act, the curtain comes up on another, or maybe it's like you close the door, but the room was in a certain order, or there were certain people in the room, close the door, open the door after the eclipse the room's rearranged, there's new people, or there's a new setting. It sounds a little bit like magic, but that's kind of the energy of eclipses, that people can rush in and out of your life. Events can happen quite quickly. That's not to say that this is going to be the case for each and every one of you that are listening or watching, but it's, it's sometimes uh, like textbook astrology. And like I said, I, you know, to that point, eclipses can portent sudden shifts in events. Um, I think it's a worthwhile exercise in your own time. Like what was going on in 2014, 2015? That was the last time we had eclipses in Aries and Libra. What was going on in, um, just checking to make sure everybody's got the link. <laughs> what was going on in 2004 and 2005? That was the last time you know, before that, that we had eclipses in, in Aries and Libra. Get, you know, give or take, there was one eclipse in Aries in 2013. There was one eclipse in Libra. And um, I'm just gonna, yeah, 
just make sure you have your mics and your videos off. Otherwise, you're going to get a starring role in um, the recording. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, there was a there was a lunar eclipse in Libra in um, March of 2016. So that said, like, go back to those periods of your life. What did you see? That's not to say that it's going to be a repeat of those times, but certainly thematically that area of your life is being activated again. Kind of so it's already eclipses remind us that our forces that are greater than us that's the thing and and i and you hear me say this in my weekly video the astrology is 50 percent. you are the other 50 percent but i can't you know, me i the singular human being i can't control the weather i can't control the cosmos i can't control the rotation of the planets it's just to be in respect or even just to kind of witness that there's something that's bigger than me that's unfolding in my life of course I can take awareness I can like try to you know take positive action to support that area of my life but it's also just to know that you know we're working with something that's much bigger than us and, and eclipses are vortices of energy. It's like that comment about a doorway, a portal, a gateway. Things are coming in and out of our life. Life is a bit charged at the moment. I don't know what you're feeling. Um, maybe something very particular is happening in your life. Maybe you're scratching your head and being like, Katie, nothing's happening. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see what's gonna, we'll see what's gonna happen. Our connection to the sun and the moon, the twin forces of life, is momentarily cut. The sun gives us life. The moon is the other side of the coin. It's the yin to the sun's yang. It talks about our emotions, our subconscious, our memory, sort of these threads that connect us. And for a moment, it's cut. The ancients, and, and I, I think I make this point in another part of the webinar, the ancients feared eclipses. And I'm not, I'm not saying, of course, we shouldn't fear eclipses. I, I mean, I this eclipse on the 14th is like right on my midheaven. It's right on my Pluto. But I'm just like, you know what? We're just going to go with it. Um, but something, and I've said this before, and maybe it's a little bit of an unpopular opinion. Like, I personally don't go out and look at the eclipse. I don't stand under that energy. Um, because it's powerful and and I think the ancients knew it's powerful it was powerful for a reason and but that's just my own personal you know you do you do you and I, and I know that the solar eclipse for example is visible in the United States it's an annular solar eclipse um, but personally I'm not going to go outside and stare at the sky but you do you um just making sure everybody has the link um you are good to go um so eclipses activate a certain part of your charts when we get into each of the 12 signs or maybe you know your own astrology already um it's to really know where is libra in your chart keep in mind you are all 12 signs of the zodiac you're not just your sun sign the, the zodiac represents the totality of life as it was represented at the moment that you were born, which is a symbol of your life, the totality of your life. So there has, Libra has to be someplace in it. And in some cases, it might be a career sign, it might be a health sign, and it might even be, of course, your sun sign. So we're going to sort of see a bigger story that maybe have been running through different different months, different weeks, and even different years. I personally feel that just knowing where the eclipses are, you know, of course, to be in sort of a witness or to be at peace and just to know that there is a reality of change. I know that there is going to be an eclipse on my midheaven. That might be a technical detail for some of you, but I'm just in the reality that something about my professional life, something about duties and responsibilities, something about the axis of my life, because the midheaven is an angle, is shifting, it's changing. And that's just a reality for me. 